Hey guys, welcome to my channel Among Stouts. If you're new here, my name is Samantha. I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mom of four kiddos and today I want to bring you along with a little curriculum prep. Um, with me I have the, um, I just got in the next science unit that we're going to be doing from Gather Herb. I just got in the next science unit that we are going to be doing, which is from The Good and the Beautiful. It is the Ecosystems Unit. Really excited to get into that. And then these are the books that I purchased to go with it. I got the Amazon Rainforest. And these are just the um, book pack that you can get directly through The Good and the Beautiful to match with their science. Um, and then this one is Ecosystems in Your Backyard. And then Elf Al and his ecosystem. So there's that. I'm going to get this whole unit um, prepped. I don't have all of my little pockets and things like that. So I'm really going to be relying on just the pockets that are in this binder that I um, picked up. We are just, we are almost done with the arthropods unit. So once um, I, we, so once we are done with that unit, I can get the pockets um, out of there and I'll show that to you guys or I can get the pockets out of there and use that for all of our um, cutouts and mini books and things like that so I'm going to go ahead and prep all of that stuff stick it in the pocket here and then as soon as we are done with that unit I'll have a more secure place to put those in and if you guys are curious about what I'm talking about I will have linked up here and down in the description um, how I completely prepped the arthropods unit and you guys can go see the pockets that I'm talking about they're super helpful um, and they can be found on Amazon so I'll have that link for you guys as well the other thing that I'm going to get prepped today so that we can actually finally start doing this because I'm actually really excited to do this with my girls, so I'm going to get this ready for them. Um, but this is the Evanmore History Pockets, the Ancient Civilizations. And this just pairs really well with um, us learning about the ancient, with us learning ancient history this year in CC Cycle 1. So um, I thought this would be a good um, little extra history add-on for us. But when I initially purchased it, I didn't really know what all of the instructions were, so... I haven't prepped it and started using it with my girls yet because I had to order a few things. So I ordered some construction paper and some twine and now I have everything that I need to go ahead and prep the very first pocket for them and um, we can get started on that. So I hope that you guys enjoy coming along with me and getting some curriculum prepped hanging out in the camper this afternoon. Um, it's a Monday afternoon so my husband's off at work and there isn't anything that I can do in the house by myself. So I thought this is the perfect time. My kids are all done with school and out playing. Um, so it's the perfect time for me to actually take care of business and get some things prepped for homeschool. So let's go ahead and get right to it. I'm looking through all of the pages one of the things that I like to do um, is go through and pull out anything that it tells me I'm going to need to have copies of for each one of my kids anything that um, I need to have set aside for all of them I like to go ahead pull that page out get it all printed and then I'll put that in their own folder so even though their folders are currently being used up by the arthropods unit because we aren't quite done there we have just a few more lessons left I'm going to go ahead and still print all of that out, get it hole punched, and I'm just going to leave them in the binder until it's time to clean the arthropods unit out of their folders and then I can just re get those pages out of here and then put that into um, their folder and then get the ecosystem print printouts put into their folders. So just replacing the arthropods things. So that's what I'm going to do first is just go ahead and look through all of these and see what it says I need to print. Um, and get that printed out for each unit. I'm also going to take out all of the vocabulary pages and go ahead and get all of those cut up. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into getting this done.
Hey guys, I just finished with one of the booklets. This still has to be stapled, so what I did to hold it together is I just kind of glue sticked one side and then I tied it up the long side here and I can't find my stapler. I'm pretty sure I left it out um, with some of my other supplies, but that's something that I haven't been able to find. Actually, there's two things. My original, like, this um, hole puncher, I couldn't find that either. So I ordered one on Amazon, but I didn't realize that I also couldn't find my stapler until recently. So I started putting this together. Couldn't find my stapler anywhere. Um, so I went ahead and I glue sticked one of the small sides just to keep it held together. And then I tied it up on the long side and then the other short side, as soon as I get a stapler, I'll just staple that side and the side that is glue sticked so that it actually stays put together. Um, my husband's actually at, he stopped at Walmart for me on his way home from work to get me a stapler. So I went ahead and even though I didn't have the staples, I went ahead and put this one book together just to show you guys. Um, it does tell you to tie it in the instructions, like use staples, tie it or whatever. I think it wants you to tie it on the short side, but I know my girls and I think stapling both short sides and then tying it here so that it looks cute for them um, is just going to work out more better because I feel like if I only tied one side and only stapled one side, it would fall apart. Um, so this is how I am doing it. I also totally meant to get like mixed color, um, mixed construction paper, but I ordered on Amazon. I just ordered the first thing I saw when I put in the size, um, because I think this is a 12 by 18 or something like that. And it's all yellow, but it's fine. Um, it'll do just great. So I have their cover page on here and then I went ahead and printed, made copies of all of the reproducible pages for their first pocket which is what is history so now once I get the second book assembled and I finish securing this book we will be ready to go and get started on our ancient civilization pockets there you have it guys that is all of the prep that I'm going to be doing today if you guys are curious about any of these things or you want to be able to easily find them on Amazon I'll have all of the things that I used linked down in the description um, you can also find the video for the arthropods unit to see, get a better idea of how this is going to look when it's completely done once I have my little secure um, binder pocket thing for all of the books and things like that. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit and getting some things prepped for our homeschool. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I would love to have you here as a part of my community and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!